fans tool. Uh, with this tool, you can create a very complex and detailed fans object. Uh, it is a really complete solution for uh, creating uh, this kind of object. Uh, it is using two, uh, two types of libraries, uh, column library and fans library. Uh, when using this tool, uh, we can use already existing presets or we can create uh, our own presets from scratch. So I will first uh, clear all items in the shape list. So I will reset current preset and uh, I will add some uh, items from library. I will add a single column because we can add only, only one. Here it is with add button and I will add two fences from fans library so let's say this one and this one now we have three items in a uh, shape list shape list is here we have all three all three items here in this list and uh, when we start using this uh, tool in the viewport uh, we can switch between uh, between these uh, three items so now uh, I will click into viewport and each next segment of the tool will be created from currently active uh, fans object. Column is always the same if there is any. So I will start with this type of defense, two segments and one segment with this. So you can see here in, in the uh, perspective viewport you, we have uh, columns and two different fence types. Uh, we can set the height for each uh, item from the list. So when I activate this, uh, when clicking into side viewport here, we can adjust the height of this fence and also for second type of the fence and also for the column. Same can be done uh, in the numeric panel here with this height parameter, but it is much more user friendly to adjust it here um, so uh, we have now the list of the shapes and uh, uh, for for each item we have uh, set the uh, height and uh, if we want to uh, reuse it some sometimes later uh, we can save it as a preset here with this preset in this preset section now I will use some already existing preset these uh, default meta 2 uh, when I start using it you can see that uh, all heights are already properly set so you just uh, pick the fans you want and you're drawing fans uh, with, the, with this step uh, button here uh, down you can enable disable step snapping so when it is uh, disabled uh, it is not forced to step and if it is uh, enabled, uh, the fence part uh, is never stretched. It steps with predefined values. Uh, this tool works pretty similar as a wall tool. Uh, so you can close fence with close button, delete, la delete la last segment. You can uh, set uh, each handle individually. Uh, uh, also trinomic panel M when holding control key you can you can force to to uh, constraint to 90 degrees uh, to previous segment and uh, last two buttons here last segment and terrain uh, the last segment uh, when you have very complicated uh, fans too long a lot of polygons uh, it's starting to have a, a lot of lags, it's slow so with this you can enable just for the time you, you are drawing it you just enable last segment so it is much quicker response and it's drawing only last segment and before you're done you unclick it and then you finish the tool and last uh, terrain button here, this setting uh, for this you need to first uh, select uh, the terrain object so I need to drop the tool select let's say this uh, this sloped object and when you activate fence tool with let's say this same preset 
metal oppressor 2 and when you enable terrain uh, option then when you draw the uh, fence to in the top viewport you can see that two now copy the terrain so you can easily place fence object on the terrain and it will be automatically recalculated to keep uh, keep the uh, heights of the terrain polygons.